Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and we are here with another episode of Jagged Alliance 2. And if you missed the last episode, then we took out the Drassen Airport, and we are on a mission to take out the rest of Drassen. Well, and eventually the rest of uh, Arulco here. Now, um, I started recording. I've been kind of tinkering around with uh, my recording settings because, um, well, one, the resolution of this game is uh, 800 by 600, which, uh, man, that uh, that's... Uh, <laughs> well, it's not exactly a modern resolution, but um, it doesn't really look that great <laughs> when you um, when you try to um, you know make it uh, make it um, you know uh, render out and all that other stuff. So I've been trying to play around with it to try to make it look a little bit better. But um, anyway, uh, I had loaded up a little bit differently, and I was actually in the next sector fighting. Everything was going. Not well, fairly well, um, but anyway, it uh, it it kind of crashed on me. Um, so I think I'm going to uh, at least uh, modify uh, somewhat how I'm doing things uh, and go forward. So uh, I'm gonna try to remember a couple of the things that we've done. So one thing I did was I came into uh, here and we we did a little tiny bit of shopping at Bobby Ray's. Um, not entirely certain they're gonna have the same stuff. We did a we did a quick look at the guns they had and i ended up picking up a colt now i don't think this is going to be the best gun it's probably not even the best gun that's available here you know i would probably actually prefer the beretta or the uh the glock 17. um and, and, uh, and honestly probably prefer the beretta here to um to the glock in fact if they had um you know in fact there's an argument to grab um uh, there's an argument in grabbing uh two of the berettas and swapping those out um, for um, for um, Fox's Glock 17s, and I may actually do that um, because this rate of fire here it says 40 a minute and 45. I don't know if that actually is going to translate to an action point difference or not. Um, I really don't. Uh, so you know, let's go ahead and try it. <clears throat> let's go ahead and try it. It's going to cost us more money, obviously, but uh, that's fine. Now, the, the the only other thing that I bought was uh, a number of these. I think I bought five. Let's go ahead and buy six. It's twenty bucks a pop. The, the main thing that we're going to get uh, that we're going to get uh, nailed for here is, of course, going to be um, going to be shipping costs. Uh, I suppose, you know, what? I suppose we, <laughs> I suppose we can grab a, a little bit more uh, three fifty seven ammo. Uh, the reason that I'm going to do that is that uh, I'm, I'm switching Barry over to uh, that Barracuda because we've got uh, Igor on uh, the uh, the Desert Eagle now. Uh, we'll, we'll switch Barry over to uh, the Barracuda. Although, although I guess now that we're ordering all this crap, um, let's, let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Um, I don't really love Igor on the 357. Uh, we can maybe... Keep, we can maybe put um, Barry on a 357. And let's well, let's go back to ammo. Let's get ourselves some more nine millimeter because if we're going to be rocking, if we're going to be rocking three people on a nine millimeter, that is uh, Blave, who honestly he doesn't shoot a whole lot, um, and um, Fox, who's shooting two nine millimeter pistols. And Igor, who we could switch over to a 9mm, and I think that that would honestly be a better pistol for him. Um, so let's actually grab uh, three... Uh, let's grab four magazines uh, to switch. Uh, so we, we'll grab... Uh, when when those arrive, we'll give uh, one of the Glock 17s to him, and uh, these four magazines to him. And then, of course, the two Berettas will go to Fox, and, and that'll be that'll be good. I think that'll be a, a really good situation. So this will be a little bit pricey in terms of uh, what it'll cost to ship, but uh, the money that we have, um, um, it's not going to be that big of a deal because um, we're going to be able to um, recoup uh, this once we um, once we get down there. I'm going to go for overnight shipping because if for some reason we get held up after the next sector, we will be able to. Um, uh, we'll be able to come back here and get uh, the biggest, 
Honestly, the biggest thing that we're going to be getting is this uh, 12 gauge buckshot because, you know, that is by far the best weapon that we have right now. And uh, it, once we run out of that buckshot, uh, that's really going to kind of suck. And he is very, very low on that ammo. So I do want that if for some reason um, uh, we do get held up after this next sector. And so I'm going to go with Overnight Express. So we are broke. We're broke as a joke. But that's okay. That's okay. Because if we didn't... I mean, honestly, if we don't capture the mine before these five days are up, then we are totally screwed anyway. We're totally screwed anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, advance time until uh, these people are done I'm all uh, doctoring done. her up. Okay, so now we are done. It is uh, 1.01 in the afternoon. Let's go ahead and get people sleeping. Hopefully they won't need to sleep for very long. Um, okay, we're almost there. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, it is now a six. Understand. Um, it's now a six in the evening, uh, but we uh, we are we're we're good to go here. We're good to go. And uh, I I had a get ready. They're here. I'm going to do uh, more or less what what I was doing in um, in the one that I, I said I was just playing this and it crashed um, because so. Uh, OK, I'm not going to get into the, the details of how I'm um, got this set up to record, but um, basically one of the one of the method, methods that I'm using allows this to be uh, minimized and not minim uh, and unminimized with a relative amount of stability and the other doesn't so much. Uh, and I was trying to use the one that doesn't really let it be minimized. And anyway, a stupid Windows Defender, you know, summary came up. It's like Windows Defender scanned your PC and didn't find anything. Well, that's a great and all. But at the same time, you just crashed my game, Windows Defender. Uh, uh, so thank you very much for that. Um, anyway. Yes. Anywho, you called? let's go ahead and get our stuff set up here. So this, yes. uh, uh, the, the, uh, the reason that I had picked, uh, this let, let's, oh shoot. I can't really look at the map. Um, whoops, go to sector. The reason that I picked this side is cause I wanted to get down to these, uh, two buildings and just kind of, uh, see if I could, um, you know, get, get them to kind of come to me. What ended up happening was I encountered them down in this area, but things were actually going pretty well for me because uh, we we ended up having a whole lot more cover than they did. But it was very, very yes. early in the fight uh, when uh, when I experienced my crash. So uh, we um, yes. Yes. we will really have to see uh, how yes. how it ends up working out. I'm gonna more. <laughs> Man, my voice is really, really wanted to give out. I, uh, I am, I am uh, sick. But, you know, uh, um, you know. Yes. I am uh, still wanting to play games, so that's just that's just how I roll. Yes. Okay, ah. we're not sending Blave in because if Blave is the one that in, uh, encounters the enemy, he's not going to be able to do much to them. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we had encountered an enemy like enemy he was like standing sight. right this here. Means war. So now, now this is so this is a much later encounter, I guess you'd say, than uh, than the last ah. time. So I think when they see you, they they kind of let you know by by uh by pointing at you. Now if I if I shoot at him. I'll probably miss. I might hit him. But uh, I think what I want to do is just kind of, you know, sprint up here into position, get as many guys, um, you know, into a decent position rather than... Um, I, I mean, I guess I can try to move here. Yeah, he, he didn't see me. He didn't yes. see me. You okay, so we're going to try to... We're going to try to capitalize on the fact that he's still oblivious uh -huh. to our presence. Okay. Oh, you might have heard that. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. He doesn't know what's going on yet. So we're going to see if we can get a little bit closer. 
Yes, forces are in hiding, ah. but are still close. Enemies in sight. This means war. Yeah, we're trying to get we're trying to get up uh -huh. here. Um You called? Uh-huh. Try to get the old big stick up there. Um and yes. Barry. Understand. Oh shoot. Yeah, I had meant to swap uh, I meant to give uh, Barry the Barracuda and then I gave um uh, um Ira some of this ammo. That's something that I had done uh, before the game crash, so uh, Barry won't have the Barracuda for this fight. Yes. Unless I do the swap here. Dead oh. dudes. Yep. That guy sees us. Yeah, that's yes. actually that was actually a really good spot. Ah. That was a very good job at spotting from where he is. I wonder if he'll be able to see him if uh, if I duck. You called? Uh huh. Um, let's. I mean, if 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 he if this guy can uh, can see him, I I might. Uh, you called? Yeah. You know, what I might do is is run up here. I'm into it. And then duck with her. That's ballsy. Yes. Um, but I really I want to press that uh, that angle there because um, if we can. If we can sort of win this area and get up here, then that's going to be, I think, really good for us. Yes. Uh, Barry, I don't know if you're going to be able to do much there, buddy. Yeah, let's not let's not do it yet. Ooh, all doggies. Fact. Yes. Okay, so this is uh, somewhat similar to what happened last time, but not. Well, okay, actually, it's quite different. But she should wreck this guy. Okay, maybe not. He doesn't love what's happening. Ah. Yes. I don't have nearly as much firepower over in this area as I'd like. Ah. I got Igor, and that's it. Now, granted, Igor's not bad. Igor's not bad. Yes. Oh my gosh, Blave just nailed someone. <laughs> Sniper shot and got a marksmanship out of it. Very, very nice. Yes. Um, Barry. I don't know if I don't know if we move him up here or not. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm gonna move Wolf in. This is slightly against my better judgment right now, but uh, we're gonna do it. And hopefully he doesn't take the shot, or, or he's gonna take a shot. But hopefully he doesn't get nailed. You called? Uh, but if he doesn't, then we should be able to eliminate yes. that guy pretty, pretty well. Um, I'm gonna swing Barry around uh, this direction Understand. and try to take this, this area here, uh, because I think that there are gonna be some guys that are gonna be coming up from this side, and I want more defense over here. Uh, did another guy just pop up over here? I can't move the camera until my turn. Yes. Okay, no, I only see the one guy. You called? Let's go with uh, Fox first. Okay, yeah, she took him down. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams are made of these. Okay, let's get Ira in here. Ira's gonna take a pot shot. Okay, Ira is not gonna take a ah. pot shot. Yes. Yeah, I really wouldn't mind getting a um, a faster weapon on uh, Igor. Yes. Hey, can you can you do the magic again, Blave? I didn't even see where that went. Uh huh. Um. Well, this guy's actually in. Well, not in range, but he can see him. <laughs> oh ho, 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 ho. I'm crying. That gun's so good. And Wolf is just so good. Uh -huh. Okay, so what is worrying uh, me? Friendly. What's yeah? I was about to say what's worrying me is there were a lot more guys last time. Uh -huh. 
I'm I'm tempted to like move Wolf up here to like just kind of get around this corner and and um, and go for like interrupts on guys. It's ballsy, but I'm gonna go for it. Uh, I'm gonna move Wolf and um, and Fox up here. Now the problem is someone could um, someone could come from uh, come from the rear and that would be uh, that would be pretty bad. Uh, I can move I can move Ira up to be like an early warning system for something like that happening. Okay, unfriendly. Uh, okay. Keep keep going and oh she was. I'm on it. Got something here. You called? Will do. Yeah, I'm gonna move Ira up, and she'll be able to let me know if uh, if something is going on. She won't be able to kill someone before they come around there, but she'll be able to uh, let me know that someone's coming around there. And uh, then my guys can turn around and uh, deal uh -huh. with the threat. Yes! I mean, alternatively, I could get up on top of this roof and deal with some of these guys. Um, really? Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. okay, this is... This is sketch. Yes. Oh, ho, ho. okay, this is really sketch. I can't imagine this guy's gonna have enough action points to get up here and shoot. I will take the shot, though. Uh, here, just don't hit my guys. Oh! <laughs> yeah, he yes. thought better of it. He thought better uh -huh. of it. Uh, he needs uh, needs five to get back, so he can't he can't reasonably do that. Uh -huh. I mean, we can go this way, and he'll probably be safe. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, I don't like that. Got something there. You called? Okay. I need you to just erase this guy from existence. Okay. Beauty. I could have just I could have had both of these guys pointing in this direction. They almost a hundred percent like wolf. I mean, wolf is level three. Uh, he would have gotten the interrupt. If that guy tried to poke his head around that corner again. So I think we would have been fine. I, I really do. Ah. Ira can see this guy. That seems crazy. Yes. All right, Barry, take the shot. He's terrible. Yeah, that is pretty terrible. Yeah, this guy could come up through this door. Noise. And that would be pretty bad. Yeah, just freaking wreck this dude. Oh, didn't quite take him. Um, I'm. Do I want to strafe it or do I want to just. Yeah, if I go in this direction, then I'm facing the other way. So I'm going to go ahead and strafe it. Oh, well, apparently I'm not. Uh huh. Um. Eat this. <laughs> kind of put all my eggs into that oh, basket there. I love it. Oh. What's this? Yes. I should have had him turn first. Be more um, efficient. He's terrible. Oh. He's terrible. Yeah, there's so there's still a bunch of guys down there. Yes. 
You called? Yes. You called? Here's okay, hold on a second. Do I need to go to walk and hold down alt? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm You called? I am uh -huh. I am seventy percent certain. You called that we should get the interrupt if someone comes around this corner. If they don't, then well, that is, that's really bad. Ah. That's really, really bad. Uh, yes. Blave, move up. I'm on it. Oh, More they're flanking. Yes. Oh, that's good to know. That's really, really good to know. Um, I don't know if that other guy can see me from here or not. Okay, that guy can't. So, ooh, doggies! That's a spicy meatball. Okay, yeah. So, Fox and Wolf uh -huh. have the interrupt here. Um, Wolf is should be better at interrupting than Fox. So I'm gonna go ahead and because because Fox is level two uh -huh. and Wolf is level three. So I'm you gonna call? go ahead and take the shots with Fox first. Man, uh -huh. I really hoped that she killed him. Okay, what we're gonna do is you called? move Fox. Uh huh. And how much does he need to move too? So we're gonna go with fifteen. I'm crying. Level of marksmanship, man. He's so good. He's so good. Okay. Igor, I want you to run up this way, and I want to get behind uh, these trees here. Yes. Yes. Blave, I want you to just make this guy regret that he's ever been born. I don't know if he's going to be yes. able to do that. If that guy pushes any harder, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna move Barry. I'm gonna move Barry. I don't, I don't like him just being exposed like that. Of course, this guy can move up, and Ira gets the interrupt. Great, thank you, Ira. Fortunately, Wolf is wearing Kevlar, which is our best armor. Um, so. Uh -huh. That could have been a lot worse. You called? Uh, let's go ahead and take. Oh my gosh! Uh huh. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, for some reason, that dude is untouchable. Yes. Not exactly ah. sure. What... Oh, nice. And we got another marksmanship skill. So, I mean, like, you know, he's doing good. Pretty much whenever he hits something at this point, uh, he's going to gain a marksmanship skill, which is which is really, really nice. Okay, we're going to go ahead and run right up to here good. with uh, Igor, and then we're going to face this dude, and then we're going to hit the dirt. Oh, that guy's, that guy's thinking better of it. We'll hopefully get some good shots in here with Igor. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the enemy is caught. Yeah, he is. You called? Fox. I want you to wreck this dude for me, please. Hit him this time. Um, nice marksmanship skill. Okay, she just destroyed that guy's Yuri, world. What's that lying around? Uh huh. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Uh -huh. Okay. Wolf.
I'm going to get Wolf up on top here. Let's see if I can spy out you called? Any more interlopers? You called? It call? is like our work is unfinished. Our enemies take cover uh -huh. under carpet. All right. Man. Ah. That was a good shot, Igor. Really well done. Really well done. And Blave. Yes. With a couple of really nice shots. Yes. A couple of really nice shots. Everyone's doing well. Except for I, haven't, I really haven't done much with Ira here. Let's see if... um. This is kind of risky to do with her. I just want to kind of see if I can spot anyone with her. I don't even know why. I... Okay. And she is level two, and she's got really high dex. So, you know, she actually would very, uh, I think, very likely get an interrupt if she saw someone. Okay, I don't see anyone over in this area. I, th I bet that they're, like, right down in this area. That's my guess. You called? Let's go ahead and reload these mags. Okay. Uh-huh. You called? One of the nice things about... So, if you... Um, if you reload in, um... When you, uh, have, uh... Uh, like, during your turn, then you will pop the mag out and pop a new mag in. Uh, but if you reload, uh, outside of, uh... Outside of combat, so to speak, then you just will top off a mag. Uh-huh. It's a little bit more convenient. You called? Uh-huh. You called? Uh-huh. All right, I don't see them down here. What did I hear? Um, that could be a guy. I mean, it could be a bad guy inside this house, but chances are it's just a uh, civilian. You so they, they'll like run around and cower and uh, whatnot. So I think we have cleared out uh, yes. this area. I'm on it. Uh, we need to, uh, we need Get to... Ready. They're here. She sees someone. Oh man, that guy's way out there. Ah. I kind of want to run Igor down here. The problem is there could be guys hiding over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of run over this way. And if I see someone, we're turning around and yes. we're getting the heck out of here. Ooh, Glock 17. Um, Go ahead and pick that yes. up, actually, on the way. I, uh, if it's in decent condition, oh. we're going to use it. Oh, okay, it's in terrible condition. Well, we're not going to use that. Good. If we can flawless this map, then that will be great. If if I can prevent anyone from getting shot, then we're going to be able to move right on into the next one, and that it will be yes. absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, Barry, let's get running. Understand. Yes. I'm on it. You called? Fox, back up a little bit. Uh-huh. Let's see. Maybe that guy is going to come in this direction. I don't know. Ah. Good. Um. Yeah, get, get behind this, uh, get behind this tree here. Yes. Understand. Want to at least have some cover. Yes. Of some Gun. sort. I'm I'm thinking this is gonna be the last guy, but I don't know. Yes. Remember, there's at least one hiding somewhere nearby. Good. Yes. I'm okay. on it. Ah, yes. Get up top, Igor. Yes, understand. Ah, good. Enemies in sight. This means war. Oh, man, that guy ran way back here. Okay. We're not going to do it from up top. I'm going to get I'm going to get in these trees and see if I can sneak up on this guy. Ah. Go ahead. Ah, and it end is the turn. like our work is unfinished. Yes, yes. our enemies take cover under carpet. Well, let's see if we can get into these trees and then uh, and then push this guy. Yes, okay. 
Blave, probably not going to do me too much good here, but uh, Barry and yes. Igor are uh, very capable oh. of taking a guy down. I mean, maybe I should bring over... You um, called? Uh-huh. Maybe I should bring over some, like, overwhelming firepower just in case. You uh -huh. called? Just in case it gets a little hairy. Ah. I knew they'd show up sooner or later. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just Good. run on down here, and that guy can, uh... Yes. Done. That guy can, uh, turn and face us if he wants yes. to. That's fine. I don't care. Understand. We're gonna all be behind cover. I should have ah. turned to him. That was pretty stupid. Yes. Yes. But... At least, I should have done it there too. Uh -huh. Rookie mistakes, rookie mistakes. All right, we're going to take a shot here, see if we can just erase this guy. We didn't. You called? Ooh, doggies. I'm hoping you that's called? the last guy. Okay. Yes. Come on, Barry. Yes. Okay, let's get uh -huh. uh, Wolf and uh, and Fox up on top of this you roof. Called? them to get shot at from where they oh they might actually get shot at not in um optimal optimal um positions there but anyway i think that we're okay ira is just hacking down so we're just gonna leave her there no that guy's still pissed uh pissed off at them come on igor you can do it buddy there we go yes that's gonna turn the tide Yes. I wanted to land another shot. Maybe get another marksmanship with him. You called? Here we go. There, yes. Man, she's she's really getting work done for us. She really is. Uh huh. main reason that I'm actually willing to shoot with uh, him right now is because every time this guy takes a shot, it's another chance that we uh, get injured. Uh -huh. And I really, really don't want that to yes. happen. Really don't want it to ah. happen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and yes. take the shots with Blave here because I want the experience. Ah. Igor's got the best chance. Ah. Okay, there we did it. Yeah, we did them all! I love yes. that. Object. More 45 ammo. Uh huh. So yeah, that 45 that we ordered, um, as I was saying, I think that we're gonna have that you one called? go to uh, go to Ira, and the uh, yes. the Berettas go to okay. Fox. Well, you'll find a nice barbed yes. out piece of Done. tarmac here that used to pass for the local uh, airstrip. Yes. Believe it or not, there was a time when people oh. used it for pleasure before the Queen bombed it. That is. Okay, so let's put that and that there. Um, let's... Yes! I don't think that we're actually going to end up needing uh, the Glock 17, but Wolf can repair it if we end up uh, having some time for that. Yes! Barry doesn't have, he's not going to have a whole lot of ammunition with that Barracuda right now. We're not, we don't have a ton of it. Unless some of these guys drop some 357, which is very, very possible. Um, we already picked up that guy's stuff. 
So what we're gonna wanna do here is take a quick look around. And I think that there is like a little side quest um, to do here as well, if I recall. Nothing. Make sure that we pillage, loot and pillage. Oh, what do you guys got going on? We'll do. Okay. I'm into it. Yeah, she burns through ammo, but uh, it's really nice. Like uh, having that, uh, having a uh, um, ambidexterity Nothing. Uh, early on in the game. It's actually really quite nice. So let's see what they dropped. They dropped a 38 speed load, a couple of first aid kits, which actually uh, are pretty nice. I think everyone uh, has one right now, though, so we don't really need that. And uh, I'll give the 38 speed load to Ira. And yeah, I'm going to throw that in there just in case we're in the di absolute dire situation, um, you know, and we need to uh, we need to uh, take a shot and uh, can't afford the reload. And then we're going to go over that. And uh, since she's going to be using the 45, we will use that. You know, I'm going to I'm going to. Um, I'm actually probably going to use some of that hollow point. Uh, early on, hollow point can be pretty useful when, um, when like most of the guys you're fighting don't have uh, armor on. A hollow point will ah. will really jack you. Will really jack you up. Like Good. Re really something fierce. Hmm. Of course, it does. What? I mean, if someone's even wearing a flag jacket, it will do practically nothing. Hmm. A key. So we definitely want this. Got it. I can't remember what it's a key to, but one of the nice things is you don't really have to worry about it too much. You can just stick it on your key ring yes. and, uh, you know, hey, it'll, it'll, uh, you can, you can always try your key ring on stuff and uh, it'll either work or not. Uh, speaking of which, let's go ahead and uh, save this in case we have a crash or something. Drassen Sector 2. Nice. Okay, yes. uh, let's check out the bar good. down here, see if there's anything good in here. Uh, we have her, uh, Herb and the father. Oh, hey, we needed to talk to the father. So let's actually send uh, Ira down here to do that. Because remember, uh, Miguel said that uh, the father had a, a strong affinity for uh, her. So that's what we need to do. I am Father John Walker. You may call me... Father John. I haven't seen you around, Ira. I was worried perhaps something had happened to you. You're looking well, as always. Miguel Cordona needs my assistance? Well, I think I can put together some food and supplies. Fuel, as Miguel is probably well aware, remains next to impossible to acquire. The rest will take time. I do have some things hidden away, but I'll need to call upon the generosity of the faithful. Moving too quickly will only bring us all unnecessary attention. I'll get word to Miguel when everything is in order. Yeah, I I can understand the uh, the unnecessary attention. You know, we do we we do want to be um, uh, cautious and uh, and reasonable in our pursuits here. Let's let's go ahead and talk to Herb here. Welcome to my establishment. I am one of the DeSantos bartending brothers. We are famous all Ruka wide for our drinks. The Santos are also known for our amazing similarities. <laughs> there are five of us. We are identical quintuplets. It is funny. We sound same, speak same things, and we are all bartenders in El Ruko. Well, I love everyone that. except Manny. <laughs> Poor Manny. He was born a day after the rest of us. He has spent his entire life trying to catch up. We hope one day he will be one of the DeSantos bartending brothers too. For now, he is a bar boy. He sweeps floors, cleans toilets, and fills condom machines. We teach him drink making when family gets together. He is getting much better. Okay. Well, let's have a look here. So, uh, the I, best liquor around. I don't Only number one brand names. I don't remember if you can make like Molotov cocktails or anything like that out of the bottles of alcohol. I do think you can drink it and get like a, 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 a boost to your morale. So, I mean, it could potentially be useful if you are like having some morale issues. Uh, hopefully we're not going to run into that. 
Um, but uh, I don't think that we need any. Well, you think about I, it. I don't think that we need any right at, at this particular moment. So we should be good. But anyway, it was nice to, to be able to find the father uh, here. So that that's, uh, that's a good thing. Let's go and check out uh, this uh, facility down here. Um, I think that's... I think we basically checked out all of the uh, houses. Actually, uh, and then there was this this little uh, hangar over here. We can check that, see if there's any, like, uh, tools or equipment over there. Uh, that might be... That might be of use. Did we check this guy's body? I think we did. What do we got here? We got some t-shirts. Deidrana rules. Show your allegiance to the queen with style. Ever since she acquired power, sporting one of these Deidrana rules t-shirts at government-sponsored events has become a common practice among Arulkins. <laughs> the, the, um, the armor of the t-shirt is almost as much as the leather jacket provides. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty crazy. Okay. So, yes, I'm uh, on it. sadly, the, uh, once again, the leadership of Blave, uh, is the most, uh, is the best. So what we're going to do is use, uh, him God. to, uh, to, uh, open negotiations with, uh, with Doreen here. I'm Doreen Harrows, the factory manager. This is a private company. You have no business being here. You'll find nothing that concerns you or your war. We make baseball caps and sweatshirts for a celebrity-endorsed clothing line. Um, I'm going to direct her after that. I understand your concern about the age of the workers. I too was fooled the first time I saw them. They are all a lot older than they look. It's the exceptional working conditions. Keeps them looking youthful. So, I mean, the first bit there seemed like maybe she was actually open to something, but I don't know. After that, I don't know. I, I'm going to be direct with her again. They should be in school. They... Well, I didn't like that. This isn't going anywhere. Look, I've had enough of this. I have a business to run, and I'll run it and... Okay, you so... Only okay, so I think what we needed to do was, um... Uh not do it that way if we wanted to uh, uh negotiate it so we're going to have to uh we're gonna have to take her out the uh the hard way so if you um if you ah, good. Uh, are uh um uh, opposed to uh violence good. then um you know uh, look away because good. this is gonna get graphic <laughs> knifer you idiot! Yes. <laughs> um, okay. Ah. Igor. <gasps> you know, actually, um, now yes. that I mention it, I should have... You should take uh, any opera. I should have just punched her. Because <gasps> punching... <laughs> Oh gosh, over there. that was pretty brutal. Um, Got it. Uh, I should have yeah, any opportunity you can take to punch, which is I mean it's pretty rare in in combat, um, unless you've uh, oh so everyone has their own key ring. Oh maybe we should um, hold on a second. Let's oh. um. I thought that there was like one communal key ring. Let's um. Yes. Let's get them. Yes. Maybe let's Understand. store them on Barry then. Understand. Since he's like our lock guy. Got it. Um. Anyway, um. It, when you punch people, you get it's a really good uh, way to build up strength. Got it. It's a really good way to build up strength, and our yes. strength is actually not uh, as high as I'd like it to be. So, um. Yes, understand. He's terrible. Come on, open sesame. Actually, let's try let's try our key. Why not? 
Yeah, nice. <laughs> I, don't even want... I just got a key. <clears throat> Ooh, an MB5. That's, oh my gosh, that's gonna be really good. Groovy. Energy boosts, yeah, um, also really useful. The shape charges, you know, I, I was always kind of torn on the shape charges. It seemed like they would never actually work for me. I mean, maybe I wasn't using them right, but. Um, yes. But yeah, um, you call? so I'm into it. You know, I bet what what we actually might do is uh, put that ah, that MP5 good. might might actually go uh, on Igor. Good. It really might. Got it. I think that might make the most sense. Got but that is going to be a really good weapon, and notice notice why. I mean, it, it does it does good damage for one. It does a little bit more damage than the thing. I think a lot of these uh, nine millimeters do twenty one, but it has a range of twenty, which is substantially more than uh, what we what we've been dealing with. So we need to get this thing repaired, uh, but we're not going to do that right now because uh, we have an opportunity to um, yes to move on here. I make clothing no more. Excellent, excellent. So, um, I know. I guess you didn't technically need to kill her. Yeah, we could have. Yeah, maybe if I had more leadership, uh, or um, if I had chosen the right uh, sequence of options, probably should have went uh, friendly after the direct there. Uh, that probably would have been the way to do it. I, I, I can't remember. I know there's. It's either a way to do it, or you need to have a certain amount of uh, leadership. I really can't remember uh, which one it is. But uh, either way, we didn't do it uh, the uh, quote-unquote best way, which is uh, just talking her into leaving. Um, but anyway, we did get a really good weapon out of it. Ah. It's not in the best shape, but we're still going to use it on account of the, the massive range bonus. Uh, it's going to be pretty good. Although the fact that it's an 81, eh, it means we're going to miss a little bit more than I'd like. Uh, and that's kind, of, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. But hey, you know, you get what you can get. Um, but anyway... That is, that's really nice. So we, uh, we're fortunately going to be, since we didn't take any damage, we're going to be able to move down into the, uh, the third sector of Drassen, um, right, uh, right away. And if that, if all goes according to plan, if all goes well, uh, we're going to be able to take the mine and, uh, start making some money and then, um, and then have a, a nice, uh, launching off point, uh, for the rest of our uh, campaign here. So anyway, guys, as always, thanks so much for watching and we are going to be picking up right here next time.